Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez, what's today's event here in Edinburgh been all about? Today's event is we've started a journey in trying to make things better for ourselves in the county. And we know that uh, we have to uh, help the people that, that are in poverty because we have a disproportionate share of people in poverty. And people in poverty uh, create a big burden for governments uh, because they have no other choices. And it also limits the size of the economy that we have because of, of their economic limitations. So what we wanted to do is bring a group of people, a group of experts together and, and join forces to create a system, one, to serve the people that are already in poverty as best as we can, two, to, to create human capital everywhere in the county, but also particularly paying attention to those that are already in poverty, and number three, to make sure that we have a, a, a well-structured economic development program that when we create that human capital, we, we don't lose them to Austin, we don't lose them to somewhere else, that they stay here because the jobs are here. Uh, so uh, everybody here that came here and some that joined us uh, through, through Zoom uh, has a piece of the puzzle. Each one has something to contribute, uh, but, but no one has a solution by itself but if you put them all together, then the solution is there when we combine all those resources. A key component of what you said today was the jobs. It's one thing to train our workforce, get them to have the better workforce skills, but the jobs have to be here. And Correct. you made a, the point that the Valley should no longer be, sell itself as the area to come to for low or low wage workers. You yeah, we've been, we've, we've been selling ourselves as, hey, come here, we've got, we've got uh, low wages that you can pay. We've got to say, hey, come here, we've got the human capital you need to help you, to help you produce whatever you produce uh, here. Uh, we're getting ideas already. We're getting ideas that companies uh, are coming and, and will train the people uh, to fulfill their jobs and then they will move. So these are things that, that, that we need to be actively involved in if we're gonna, if we're gonna compete. And our median age is a the medium, Well, the medium age is, is, 20, is 29%. What I didn't, what I didn't tell uh, this audience that I had in my notes is that we graduate every year more high school students than what 15 other states graduate. Imagine that. Here in the Valley, we graduate more high school students every year than what 15 other states do. That's huge, Steve. That's huge. And so it's, a, it's about keeping them here in the Valley and not losing our best and brightest. Of course. Uh, what good would it, will it do for us if we create that human capital only to lose it to somewhere else? So it takes a combination of both. It takes a combination of producing the human capital, but at the same time, bring the necessary uh, employment and job opportunities to the area. And, and, and we need a plan. We need a strategic plan, and, and we need people to work. We, we, we have to think as a region. We have to use science to help us in the decisions that we have. Uh, anybody can guess, and I think a lot of what we're doing is we're guessing what we think is going gonna, is gonna to work. Well, let's not guess. Let's, let's, let's know that whatever we do is going to bring success. I understand your task force. You've called it the Prosperity Task Force. What's the next step? Well, the next step is to, uh, is to make sure uh, that the plan that, that, that we're going to pursue uh, is based on science and a high probability of success, and then execute the plan. Anything else you'd like to add, Judge? Steve, uh, we have a lot of things to be proud of here in the Rio Grande Valley, but we have a lot of work to do. Uh, I gave a speech, and uh, I think you publicized it in the Rio Grande Guardian, that I said, you know, good is, is the enemy of great. Uh, because we can't get complacent by being good. Because if you do that, then you're not going to be able to compete in the future. We have to lift the bar locally. We have to lift the bar and not think of ourselves as second-class citizens. Oh, we're not as good as this, or we're not as good as that. We have to say, no, we're going to be the best. Okay. And, and, and that's, I think, the attitude uh, that we need to have here if we are really going to compete in the future, because the future is going to be very different than today. Judge, thank you so much no, thank for today's you, interview.